Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates. Bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto. But I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. The Securities and Exchange Commission announced a fine and settlement with Kim Kardashian this week for allegedly failing to disclose earnings related to her promotion of the EMAX token. While the settlement ends her case with the government, it may complicate a class action lawsuit filed against Kardashian, other celebrity endorsers, and executives of Ethereum Max, the company that created the project. Ryan Hugrich filed a lawsuit in January on behalf of all investors who purchased EMAX tokens between May 14 and June 17 of this year, alleging executives and promoters made false or misleading statements through social media and other promotions. Boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr., former NBA player Paul Pierce, and Kim Kardashian are among the promoters at who have moved to dismiss the case against them. Khaled and Mayweather both settled with the SEC over Centratec, a landmark case that was the first enforcement action against ICO touters. However, a court dismissed Centratec investors' class action lawsuit seeking damages from Mayweather and DJ Khaled, among others, since investors were ultimately unable to establish that Mayweather and DJ Khaled's promotion directly led to their investment and subsequent suffering. Kim K has agreed to pay $1.6 million. With that being said, Binance Smart Chain being hacked for hundreds of millions. After an exploit on its cross-chain bridge, the BNB chain was briefly halted. The latest effect estimate is between $100 million and $110 million in Bitcoin equivalent. The BNB chain has resumed normal operations, according to the most recent update. Binance CEO Changpeng Zhao verified the vulnerability after validators were requested to temporarily cease BSC and stated that the issue had been resolved. The initial estimates for cash stolen off the BSC are between $100 and $110 million. However, an estimated $7 million has already been frozen owing to the community and our internal and external security partners. We are humbled by the community's quick response and assistance in freezing cash. According to Paradigm researcher Sam Sun, the attacker persuaded the Binance Bridge to transmit 1 million BNB to an address they controlled. They went through the process twice. Sun observed that the height utilized by the attacker was always the same 11021740 after comparing the attacker's transactions with genuine withdrawals. However, legal withdrawals utilized far larger heights, such as 270822321, as the researcher pointed out. He also pointed out that the attacker's evidence was significantly shorter than the genuine withdrawal's proof, implying that they had discovered a means to forge a proof for that specific block 11021740. Binance uses a unique pre-compile contract to validate IAVL trees. A user must supply a set of operations while verifying an IAVL tree. Sun explained that the Binance bridge normally anticipates two of them, a IAVL levy operation and a multi-store action. The attacker was successful in exploiting a weakness in the Binance bridge that verified proofs, allowing attackers to fake arbitrary messages. The BNB chain team assured customers that all monies are secure, since the hacker minted new BNB tokens rather than draining them from wallets. Moving on to Lido. Lido now supports ETH staking directly on Layer 2 by linking tokens to Arbitrum 1 and Optimism, two popular Ethereum scaling solutions. The company also stated that Phase 1 of the rollout will direct WST ETH, bridging to Arbitrum 1 and Optimism while keeping the unique qualities of SCETH. They choose WST ETH because to its ease of interaction with Lido's DeFi partners. The team also published a tutorial explaining how to wrap their STETH and connect their WSTETH to Layer 2 solutions. It describes how to connect their tokens with Arbitrum 1 and Optimism. From October 8, Lido will also distribute 150,000 LDO tokens as awards for WSTETH throughout each network. This is done to foster the accumulation of liquidity. In late September, it was revealed that a considerable amount of the ETH staked was tied to Lido's liquid staking. Despite the depreciation in June, it has performed nicely. 
Stackers can use liquid staking to deposit cryptocurrency such as Ether and receive another token in exchange. Users can then deploy this token elsewhere while their staked crypto bears yields or returns. Lido controls the pool distribution and has slightly under 30% of the staking share on Ethereum. Coinbase and Kraken are in second and third, with 13.3% and 8.1%, respectively. Lido now has approximately 129,000 validators, much outnumbering the other pools. On the other hand Grayscale Investments, the world's largest crypto asset manager, has announced the formation of Grayscale Digital Infrastructure Opportunities LLC, GDIO, which will focus on Bitcoin mining infrastructure investments. Grayscale announced in a news statement that the partnership will assist authorized investors in capitalizing on the crypto market fall. To manage the company in a first-of-its-kind product line structure foundry is the world's largest Bitcoin mining pool in terms of processing power. Now for some real blockchain bullish news, the FTX token increased by more than 7% on news that Sam Bankman startup, Freed's FTX, will launch a debit card in collaboration with payments giant Visa. The change would allow FTX users to pay for products and services with zero-fee debit cards. Furthermore, according to the corporate website, card ownership is free. On the announcement, the FTX token, the native cryptocurrency of the FTX trading platform, rose 7% to a high of $25.62. The token's all-time high, at about $80, is still some distance away. Visa's move would compete with MasterCard's recent pushes into cryptocurrency. Even though values have fallen, there is still steady interest in crypto, said Chief Financial Officer Vasan Prabhu, referring to the 2022 crypto bear market. Now, going back in time, here's how Mt. Gox intends to distribute 140,000 Bitcoin to consumers. By July 2023, Mt. Gox plans to transfer $1.7 billion in cash, 141,000 Bitcoin, and 142,000 BCH among 10,000 debtors worldwide. The rehabilitation trustee stated in a notice to creditors that the cryptocurrency repayment reference date is January 10, 2023. These information must be entered by January 10. The crypto part, totaling more than 140,000 Bitcoin worth $2.7 billion, might be repaid soon after. All reimbursements are expected to be completed by July of next year, bringing an end to a decades-long chapter and the February 2014 bankruptcy of Mt. Gox. When it comes to crooked lenders, Celsius is also making amends with its customers. The 14,500 published documents list all of Celsius's creditors as well as every transaction conducted 90 days before to the court petition. Email and home addresses are obscured in the records, but the crypto used, calendar dates of transactions, and complete usernames are visible to anyone, opening the door to doxing. Celsius attempted to prevent the publication of the names and addresses of its clients and staff in case it wished to sell this information as an asset. The judge, however, refused and decided that only emails and home addresses would be kept private. The lawsuit also revealed how Celsius's top executives removed their stakes as the firm went bankrupt. Alex Mashinsky, the former CEO, withdrew $10 million. Daniel Leon, former CSO and co-founder, withdrew $7 million. CTO Nuke Goldstein took $500,000 from the company. Mashinsky resigned last month after the UCC asked him to do so. He stated that he will continue to return coins to creditors in the fairest and most effective manner in order to assist account holders in becoming whole. Leon quit as well this week. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Remember, the social media platforms will be up and running next week, with the last channel being deleted we must now start over. Don't forget we have a $50 giveaway for when we hit 200 subs and followers on all social platforms. We also raised the giveaway for 1,000 subs on YouTube to $200 giveaway. Don't miss out. All you have to do is like follow subscribe and tag as many people as you can. We will be watching who tags who and keeping tabs on which one of those tags actually followed and subscribed. 
I repeat this is not a random drawing anyone can compute the giveaways themselves. Good day good night, and goodbye.